We all want to feel great about speaking interaction. And let's be honest, we also want to feel great about ourselves too. So in this video, I'll share with you 10 stuttering facts that can help you rethink your attitude towards stuttering and become more positive about stuttering, speaking interaction and yourself. Let's get down to it. Fact number one, we can have a dream. Pretty much all great products, inventions, and creative works of art came out of a problem. Either as a solution to the problem or some sort of creative juice produced by dealing with the problem or living with the problem. And stuttering brings quite a puzzle to solve. Besides the physical part, the speech impediments that we can choose to work on or not to work on, we can all agree that stuttering also brings a huge invisible part with stuttering shame, stuttering fear and anxiety, avoidance behaviors, escaping, isolation sometimes, hesitation, anticipation, and generally holding back. And we definitely don't want to let stuttering define us, prescribing what we can do, what we cannot do. We don't want to live in that box, bearing that burden of those limitations. We want to be free of those limitations. So let's acknowledge that. We already have inside some direction, some drive, some passion. We already have a dream, a goal in and of itself. And many regular people don't have a dream, just living their day in and out. So let's see that drive, that passion inside us. That's a gift that is given to us with a problem, with a problem to solve. Fact number two, we're personal development oriented. Getting free from limitations that stuttering brings is not just a dream. It's a dream to change ourselves. And that's huge. But isn't personal development for broken or weak people? No. Personal development, personal change is not for people who are inferior, limited or not good enough. It's for people who are strong enough to change, who are strong enough to be open for new. So tap into that inner drive and passion, visualize, see what kind of a person you want to be and go for it. We'll go out into the world and each pursue based upon what you believe your talents are, what your skills are, maybe your gifts are, but you're seeking the same thing. Everybody wants to fulfill the highest, truest expression of yourself as a human being. Fact number three, many great people are or were people who stutter. Singers like Elvis Presley and Ed Sheeran, actresses and actors like Emily Blunt, Marilyn Monroe, Bruce Willis, politicians like Thomas Jefferson and Winston Churchill, scientists like Charles Darwin and Isaac Newton, sportsmen like Shaquille O'Neal and Tiger Woods. And this is just to name the few, I'll give the link below so that you can go and see how many awesome people are people who stutter. And you are one of them. And stuttering didn't stop them, not because they were just born great, but because they worked on their dreams. And sometimes stuttering might seem super huge, like it's everywhere. Wherever I go, I see that wall in front of me. And even though I'm preaching about speaking exercises, building the training speech, working on the physical part of stuttering, because we can do a lot about it. The number one remedy to that huge invisible part of stuttering and stuttering in general as well, is finding something that you love doing and doing something that you love. Sometimes life's gonna hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is gonna fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. 
Fact number four, stuttering is a deep cause for making friends. When you stutter and you meet another person who stutters, you instantly feel that bond, that secret connection that you rarely instantly feel with other people. And oftentimes we tend to isolate ourselves from other people who stutter feeling that there is some shame about the fact that I stutter and you stutter. Don't run away from that connection, that bond. That's something to acknowledge and to cherish. So I encourage you to join Free From Stutter Facebook group and other stuttering support groups. Second, I would encourage you to join and participate in National Stuttering Association conferences. And third, join Free From Stutter Speaking Club. So I'll give all the links down below the video so that you could feel that you're not alone. There are many awesome people who stutter. You can make new friends, elevate your energy, and just learn a lot. How other people are living with stuttering, are dealing with stuttering, are overcoming stuttering whichever you choose. Fact number five, we are vulnerable. Stuttering makes us vulnerable. We open up, we kind of get naked at that point. Open for judgment, ridicule, and compassion. And the natural feeling is that we don't want to be vulnerable, we don't want to be naked, we don't want to be open for that judgment and ridicule. So our natural urge is to run away and hide in some secure box shell space. Yet I want you to recognize, to see that being vulnerable and feeling good about your vulnerability, opening up and feeling good about yourself is one of the most valuable skills. So when you're vulnerable and you're open, you're true, that's the real ground, real foundation for true relationships to build. And second, embracing your vulnerability is the key to success in pretty much any area of your life. We tend to think of vulnerability as, as a weakness or you know, somebody who's soft. Right. And, and you embody it in a completely different structure to show people that it is, it is strength. Like if you want to be hard and you want to be strong, vulnerability and open-mindedness are the keys to that kingdom. And it's, you said it perfectly there. The one thing that made me who I am today is being vulnerable. It's breaking myself down to the absolute rock bottom and being able to tell people who I am. What does it mean then to dare greatly? To me, it means the courage to be vulnerable. It means to show up and be seen, to ask for what you need, to talk about how you're feeling, to have the hard conversations, you know, when we asked people in the research, you know, what is vulnerability to you? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, I was raised that vulnerability is weakness, right? right? Most people. Yeah. 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 Like that was... That Most was, people think vulnerability is weakness. Right. And you know what? After reading uh, Darren Gregley, what I realized, and, and, and the gifts of imperfection, what I realized, first of all, is I live in the space of vulnerability. And that is what has made me so successful, is my vulnerability with the audience. For sure. And I think that... Vulnerability is sort of the cornerstone of confidence. I think it's the cornerstone because I believe that. I, because unless you can uh, allow yourself to take the risk to be open, to live as a whole hearted person, when you can do that, you recognize that you're really just like everybody else. And that gives you the confidence to be yourself which is all you really need in life, is to be That's more it. of yourself. And coming back to stuttering, I can only add to that that the hardest and the most important exercise we do in Free From Star program, for example, is disclosure. I call it active positive disclosure. And you're disclosing using the training speech as a person who stutters. And when we use the training speech, we don't stutter. That's the whole point of the training speech. And people start thinking, why do I need to disclose? Why would I disclose if I have the tools not to stutter? And once you master the active positive disclosure, being open, being vulnerable, feeling great about it, that's when you become truly free. Fact number six, we are sensitive. 
Many people who stutter are so-called highly sensitive people. And even if you don't qualify, define yourself as a highly sensitive person, chances are you feel, you sense things a little faster, a little deeper, a little more than a regular people. It's like, you know, when people have one sense impaired, other senses develop a little more to compensate that sense which is impaired. The same thing happens with stuttering. Maybe we don't speak that much, but we compensate that in general with seeing a little further, feeling a little deeper. This way, Isaac Newton saw something that other people didn't see about apples and gravity. Thomas Jefferson saw something about how to build a stable government. Tiger Woods seems to be able to see a little more clearly when he plays golf. Rowan Atkinson saw something that other people don't see, creating a new character and making us smile. Fact number seven, we're humble. And humbleness might seem, again, like a weakness. We're all like strong and confident guys like James Bond. Hang on! So you're a British spy. Do you have a name? My name's Bond. <laughs> James Bond. Yet when it comes to true relationships, when it comes to building something like a company, product, business, or creating something, we're looking for people who are strong but humble. Fact number eight, small wins bring a lot of joy for us. You might say, man, you're mentioning all those great people, those leaders, those scientists, politicians, sportsmen, actors. I'm not like them, I'm just me. But that's the whole point. We find greatness in small things. Asking a stranger directions, raising hand in class, making a phone call, approaching somebody who you're hesitant to approach going for the speech therapy. All these might not seem like a big deal for regular people, but for us, these are acts of greatness. As the Nike commercial says, greatness is for all of us. Find your greatness. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is reserved for the chosen few, for the superstar. The truth is, greatness is for all of us. This is not about lowering expectations. It's about raising them for every last one of us. Because greatness is not in one special place. And it is not in one special person. Greatness is wherever somebody is trying to find it. Fact number nine, we're more introverted and creative. I can totally say that for myself and I do see that in other people who stutter as well. And even though I'm shooting all these videos and trying to be more extroverted, I'm proud to be an introvert. Because truth be told, a pearl can grow only in a closed shell. It just doesn't grow in the open sea or under the sun on the beach. The same way I would encourage you to find that inner space and grow something beautiful there. A lot of people think being an introvert means you lack confidence and you're shy. Is that true? Suppose that depends on the nature of truth. Fact number 10. If you can solve this, you can solve anything. You see, regular people also hold back. They also have fears, they also have anxiety, they also have all the limitations that we have. So stuttering in this sense is a gift because it makes that holding back visible. So stuttering makes us, forces us to work on that huge iceberg, on those limitations, invisible limitations, on our fears, on our anxiety, on our self-esteem, on our confidence, on our holding back. While regular people can't live their whole life not bothering, not seeing that 
they are holding back. They don't see oftentimes those limitations, which hold them back the same way as stuttering holds us back. Yes, it's a puzzle to solve, but if you're solving it, if you're becoming, finding a way to become more open, active, and positive about speaking traction and yourself. And there are clearly ways how to do that. If you solve this problem, you can solve any problem in your life. You gain an invaluable skill of overcoming your limitations. That's a skill. That's something we want to learn. And like any skill, that's something we can learn step by step. This, uh, this one year, my father had his shop and he decided for whatever reason that he wanted a new wall on the front of his shop. So he tore down <laughs> probably about uh, you know, 16 feet high and probably about uh, 30 feet long he just completely tore the wall down and my brother and I had to dig a six foot hole we <laughs> for the mix foundation it, for yeah, the foundation right. we would mix in the concrete by hand yeah. a year and a half we were building this wall for a year and a half every day after school we would come and mix in concrete putting it in the hole doing it and it was just myself and my little brother and I remember standing back looking at that wall saying there's going to be a hole here forever a year and a half later we laid the the final brick and my father stood back with my brother and i and i know he planned this he says he does he says he didn't but i know he was, had been planning this yeah. and writing this for his <laughs> <laughs> for for the past two years but he we stood back we looked at the wall and he looked at me and my brother and said yeah. don't y'all never tell me that you can't do, do something. something and walked into the shop i i believe uh and I learned very young that you, you don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm going to build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm going to lay this brick as perfectly as a brick can be laid. There will not be one brick on the face of the earth that's going to be laid better than this brick that I'm going to lay in this next 10 minutes. Yeah. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a wall. And soon you have a wall. It's difficult to take the first step when you look how big yeah, exactly. the, the task is. The task is never huge to me. It's always yeah, one too. brick. So thank you so much for watching. For more videos, subscribe to this YouTube channel. To go into more detail about what we can do about stuttering, head over to freefromstutter.com and join my free and pro training. And as I mentioned, for more interaction, for opening up and being more active, join Free From Stutter Facebook group. And I'll see you in the next video.